Hello guys, this is Mike from McProgramming.org. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to write a basic method. Um, methods are very important. In all the tutorials up till now, we've been doing all of our logic and printing and any, any type of adding numbers. All of that has been within this main method, which is a method in itself. Uh, and what a method does when you add more methods to your class it gives it more functionality and it breaks down the task into smaller uh, smaller blocks that will end up being way more accurate so the smaller the method uh, the better the result usually is when you when you start putting a lot of lines in per method it can get a little messy and hard to decode if and debug if uh, you start getting problems. Right here is the basic setup for a method. It's a modifier, which is you know declaring a public or private or in some cases protected. The return value type, which uh, would be some type of you know an int or a string or boolean or uh, even object names. And then you want to give your method a name, something that. Uh, kind of describes what it does and then parameters um, and that's pretty much what you're inputting into the method and then the method body which you know the algorithm or, or whatever the method will do with the input stream or input uh, parameters uh, sometimes you don't use parameters at all it all depends so let me give you an example I'm gonna make a quick little method that is going to add two integers and return an integer so what we do for that case is public for the modifier int is the what will be returned the type that will be returned and we're just going to say add that makes sense and then in the parameters we're, we're going to add two numbers so we're going to have to declare int uh, a variable x and declare a variable y open up uh, brackets and you're getting an error right now because it's saying you aren't returning anything but we'll get to that later so don't worry about that so let's say uh, int z equals x plus x plus y and we want to return an integer and z we have declared as an integer so let's say return z and actually get rid of all your errors and then what you do is all your methods are run within this main method and the reason that this is static is it uh, so you don't have to instantiate this class that object um, if I made this static right here well let me just show you let's say I I try to do this method add and I'll put in 8 and a 9 so that's pretty much how you set a method up is you call the name and then you put uh, two integers in there and in this method uh, 8 will be assigned to X or X will be assigned to 8 and Y will be assigned to 9 and you add them right there and it's put into Z and Z will be returned uh, I actually have to system dot out dot current line this to even get it. But the reason that I'm getting an error right now is it says I'd have to change the modifier to static. And if I did that, it would work. Okay, and you get 17 but let's say that we we're using methods from another class or we don't want to have to write static all the time you have to instantiate this class I'll go over this a lot more um, in a later tutorial this is how you instantiate classes so we instantiated a new method class because we're in the method class and we can take away the static and all we have to do is the 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 name that we gave uh, this object, which is method. We say method dot and then the function name. So add 
8, 9. This should still print out 17. And there's all there's other ways you can do this. You can there's a return type called void, which means it's returning nothing. You don't have to worry about that z. And, it, and within here, you can system dot out that print line z. And get rid of all this. Voila. So that works. Uh, sometimes you wanna. Uh, maybe make a method that uh, you don't take in any parameters, so print something. You can leave empty brackets right there or, uh, for a parameter and say uh, print something. Whoops. Make sure it's in quotes. Something works. And we'll have to call this method dot n. If you made it correctly, it will automatically give you that option to even create it. Print that, print that out. Say OK, and bam. So all of that works. So that that's your basic intro to what a method is. Um, right now we're just using public, but they are private. Uh, protected too but we'll worry about that in another tutorial so thank you for watching and I hope you continue to want to learn maybe I'll make a she had to make a class and call methods from different classes that'll probably be the next tutorial I'll make that right now so y'all take care and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you